What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. Today, we are up against Farshid, who is bringing a pretty cool team. Uh, it's pretty well balanced, to be honest, other than fairy weaknesses all, over, all across the board. Lucky for him, I... Uh, unfortunately for him, I should say, I have a Grimmsnarl who basically demolishes Hydreigon. His opposing Grimmsnarl... Axorus, and that's basically it. Looking at my opponent's team, I'm going to start with Bolt Town. So I'm going to go ahead and just click Bolt Town and then just go across the board. Go from there. Before I click done, I want to let you guys know, if you guys have not checked out Monday's video, go check it out because that battle, probably the best one we've had on our channel so far. High quality, good audio, as opposed to previous videos when I first started on YouTube. You guys are going to love it. Make sure you guys leave a like on that video so I, I know you guys watched it. And subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss a Pokemon battle. Now, Farshit is ready. I am ready. We're going to go ahead and get started on this final battle with this team. And of course, we got the best music on the game for this battle. Let me know what your guys' favorite song is in the comment section down below. Kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous. I have some momentum. Especially after last week's battle. So, as expected, my opponent is starting with Grimmsnarl. A beautiful, shiny Grimmsnarl at that. I'm starting Bolt Town. The biggest reason I started Bolt Town is because this Pokemon cannot hit me with a Thunder Wave. He can't set up screens, but when he switches out, I got a Psychic Fangs ready for him. So I'm going to go ahead and click Thunder Fang here. Let me know who the MVP of this battle is going to be. Comment down below. And also make sure you guys like the video. So, we got Bolt Town with Thunder Fang. That's what I was hoping for. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Lost some HP. I'm gonna try to knock this thing out. Hopefully he gets a full paralysis so he doesn't set up a reflect. He sets it up anyways. In my face. That's kind of disrespectful, but it is what it is. I'm gonna Thunder Fang and this should knock the Grimmsnarl out. I thought so. Really good start to the battle. Really, really good start to the battle. Whatever he brings next is gonna take a Psychic Fangs. Unless it's a Hydragon. A Dragon's a little bit scary. Um, that's basically it. I think the Pokemon I'm most scared of in my opponent's team is the Melmetal. I've never gone against a Melmetal. I don't even know what attacks Melmetal has, to be honest. Beautiful, shiny Moon Ball Haxorus. That's awesome. Another square shiny. Mold Breaker. Okay, I do outspeed, and I'm gonna hit Psychic Fangs here so I can just break the barriers. Get rid of both barriers. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Probably gonna hit me with a Dragon Dance. Okay. That's a little bit scary. I don't have any Focus Ash users on my team, which is a little bit worrisome. I do have... I do have a, a Choice Scarf Excadrill, so there's that at least. But the thing is, I don't think Excadrill's gonna be able to knock this thing, knock this thing out and outspeed it. Well, it'll be able to knock it out. I don't think I can outspeed it. Oh, man. That's a little bit scary. Not gonna lie. Um, I think the move to go to is Claydol. Because we're bulky in the defensive side. So, hopefully, we can at least take one attack from this Haxorus. So, we're gonna go ahead and hit the Reflect. If my opponent goes for another Dragon Dance, that's good for him. I cannot stress the amount of times I've gotten sweeps with Haxorus after putting two Dragon Dances out. Outrage Stab! I live one. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Reflect. Now, what are Pokemon that's... Maybe it's almost time for a Grimstone Sweep. Alright, we're gonna go Rock Tomb here, even though we're gonna get outsped. And I hope he gets confused with Fatigue here. And doesn't have a berry for it. Play Dole Fates. Perfectly fine. Fatigue? There you go. That's what I was looking for there. Alright, so. Oh, he got the berry. I thought that was going to be the case. So. Excadrill is pretty valuable. He, I think I can take Anna. No, he has the Earthquake. I shouldn't have gone Excadrill. Excadrill is a really valuable Pokemon. So I'm going to double switch here into Halucha, and I just wasted a turn of my Reflect. That's not good. That's not good at all. So I'm gonna double switch into Halucha. 
Earthquake all you want. It's not gonna hurt me. Because he has a Dragon Dance up, it's very important I get a Sky Attack going. If you want to switch, feel free to do so. That's a waste of a Dragon Dance in my opinion. Outrage. That's a lot of damage. It might knock me out at a plus one. It doesn't knock me out. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. If, if that was a plus two Haxorus, I would have been in trouble. Alright, Sky Attack. Come on, Alucha. Get the knockout. You can do it. You can do it. Beautiful. That's a knocked out Haxorus. If he goes Hattery next, I hate to say it, but I have the Poison Jab ready for you. I outspeed his entire team now. If he brings High Dragon, I'll hit that thing with a with the Eye Jump Kick. Same thing with the Melmetal, even though it's really bulky. Um, Zero Aura is going to be Wish Granner the Hattery. Wish Granner the Zero Aura. Okay. I'm going to go High Jump Kick here and hope I knock it out. I don't think I will, to be honest. Zyraora is a really cool Pokemon. I actually want to use one in my team. I, of course I miss. I can't believe I just missed. Play rough. That tells me I shouldn't go to Groomsnarl. Uh, I think Excadrill is the next move here. Excadrill is the next best move. One Excadrill. And I'm gonna go Earthquake here. That's my best move against this mod. Earthquake. I outspeed. He's gonna get knocked out. I don't think he's running a Sash. I didn't think he was. He's probably gonna go High Dragon next. If he does, I'm going Gengar. And I'm just gonna let Gengar go down. That's the bottom line. I hope he gets greedy and decides to hit me with Melmetal is next. Wow, I was not expecting that. I'm still gonna let Excadrill go. I'm still gonna let Excadrill go down. He's probably gonna hit me with some kind of uh, punch move, given that this thing has Iron Fist. I have done my research on Melmetal. I just never used one before, or have gone against one. Oh, that's a little tell for a. Dynamaxing. That's a little scary to me. Well, I'm gonna go Gengar. I, wow, that was a really cool cry. Imagine I get a crit. Oh my goodness, this thing is way bulky. Max Knuckles gonna knock me out. It's not gonna knock me out. Never mind on that. Oh my goodness, this thing just just put scary into a uh, put another definition to scary. Okay. Earthquake again. He's not gonna miss this next move no matter what. Max Knuckle plus two Melmetal. This I think I can take it out with Gengar though. I'm sure I can take it out with Gengar. My question is, should I go for a focus blast or should I just try to hit a battle ball? My team's reflect wears off. I really don't want to miss a Focus Blast, but I think I have to go for it. Um, I think that's what it comes down to. I'm going to try to Shadow Ball. I know I'm banking on a lot right now, but that's what I'm going to try to do. Withdraws Mal Metal. He just wasted his Dynamax Factor like that. Okay. A Dragon comes out. Expected. That's kind of expected. Um, given that his Melmetal is weak, I kind of want to hit this thing with a Destiny Bond. And then just take the rest of his Mons with... Is it worth it? I don't think a Focus Blast will knock out is the thing. I'm going to Destiny Bond here. And I know I'm going to regret this. Choice Scarf. You're Scarfed. A balloon popped. Pop! Alright, so at least Grim Snarl is going to be able to pick up a sweep here. I'm, I'm scared of his Hatterene. I'm not going to lie. Um, there's not much this thing can do to me, to be honest. There's not a lot you can do to me. I'm gonna Max Knuckle here. I'm gonna Dynamax. Try to knock this thing out with Max Knuckle. That's what I'm gonna do. If the Hatterene decides to come in, that's fine. 
Mal Metal's coming out. This Mal Metal's going down, big boy. Mal Metal's gonna get knocked out. And then hopefully we can knock out the Hatterene. I need to try to take this in two turns. Three turns. Without taking damage. Grim Snarl comes out. Mal Metal is not gonna be able to outspeed me. Unless it, no, it doesn't get a, it doesn't get access to bullet punch. Mel Metal goes down. He tried to make a read. I made him pay for it. Mel Metal goes down. It melts. L, ten, and Mel Metal melts. That's awesome. Shows how little I know about these Pokemon. If you want to go Hattery next, I'm just going to knock that thing out with... You're going Hattery. I'm going to try to take this bad boy with my Max News. Max News. You don't have any Pokemon that can Dynamax anymore, so... Knock it out, please. We knock it out! Okay, so this is another close battle. A very close battle, just like last week's. It's gonna come down to one play again. I don't think the the high dragon can knock me out though. And it's time for the cool music. Nope. There it is. Should I overkill this thing? I think I should. I only need a plus one to knock this thing out. Flash cannon! Weakness policy activates! Oh, you should be running right now. You should just turn off your switch. Just turn it off. Starfall overkill. Woo! That was epic. I only have one Pokemon left. Grimstar was my last. A Miss World, not that it matters. What a battle, Farshid. Farshid? Farshid? Farshid. Well, whatever, ho however you pronounce your name, I really, really, really appreciate the battle. I am taking your lead card. I'm going to quit this thing. But above all else, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed the battle. Subscribe to my channel so you never miss a Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. Leave a comment as to who the MVP of this battle was. And also... You guys have yourselves a great day. Again, thank you guys so much for watching.